Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to illustrate how we would calculate the mean absolute deviation for a six-day moving average. Now, we're going to assume you have 12 weeks of data and you have sales history. And we'll just assume these are dollars, but they could easily be in thousands or millions of dollars. Okay, so we've got 12 weeks of sales history. Now, we're going to calculate the mean absolute deviation for a six-day moving average. So, to calculate the six-day moving average, what we do is we take six values, and that becomes the moving average or prediction for the next period. And I've actually worked this one ahead of time in here. So let me change the font color back to black, and you'll see what I did. I simply took the average of cells B2 to B7. So that's my six-week average. That becomes my new projected six-day moving average for week seven. From there, I can simply copy that down, which I've already done, but let me bring it to life because I formatted it so that we don't get the dollar sign in every cell. Okay, so in each case, you'll see that we're averaging the six prior weeks to make a prediction for that value. Then what we have to do is come up with the forecasting error. Well, the forecasting error is simply the actual dollars versus the six-day moving average. Okay, now we could do the forecasting error and the absolute forecasting error in a single cell, but I elected to do it in two separate cells. So if I then copy that one down, and you'll see it's the same formula, that's always the same row whatever the value was in B minus C, or the actual sales minus the predicted sales based on the six-day moving average, we get these values. The next thing we have to do is turn that into the an absolute value. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we use Excel's absolute value function, which is ABS. Now, you obviously don't have to do that. You could uh, just flip the sign on a small data set like this, but since Excel has an absolute value function. I elected to use it and uh, I'm able to count, put these numbers in here. Of course you could do this by hand as well or with a, a calculator but I like the power of Excel so I've done it. Now all we're calculating is the mean absolute deviation for a six-day moving average. Well the absolute deviation are given here and the mean just means average them. So we will take the average of the absolute forecasting errors, right? We're taking in forecasting errors, the same thing as variance or deviation. So if we take the average of uh, our predicted values for a six day moving average, and we had six values we could use here. Now you may ask, why did we only have six? Well, we only had 12 weeks of data. We needed to use six pieces of data to come up with the seventh. And we can't, couldn't go on to a period 13 because we don't have the sales data for it. So the answer, uh, uh, the main absolute deviation for a six-day moving average for this particular set of data is 18.61. The answer is in dollars because the data was in dollars. Okay, I hope you found that helpful.